Thank you very much for purchasing Soul. So now we're going to teach you how to use it. So what's inside the box? This is our receiver. And this is our main unit. This is the sequence of the seven stacks. Tutorial card and the charging cable. Now we'll teach you how to charge your unit. This is a charging cable. You can use power bank or your computer to charge your unit. And you plug in the type C to this position. You see there's a blue light when charging. When it's fully charged, the light will turn off. Then you know it's fully charged. Same thing happened to the main unit. When you plug in, you will see there's a light. When you see the light is turned off, then you know it's fully charged. So the first thing we need to do is to connect the receiver to our main unit. Slide this button to the other side and you will turn the receiver on. And you will see the monitor turn on. And then you turn on the main unit. After 3 seconds, you will see there's a blue light, means it's already connected. So before we perform, we have to do a preparation. We'll need to prepare a card box, and we're going to use this card box as a cover. Now we need to do a little bit work on the card box. Now you're going to cut off the bottom of the card box. At the same time, use double stay tape to tape the opening of the card box. Now you're going to cover the gimmick with this card box. Now one thing very important is that you need to make sure the bottom of the card box, the four side, does not touch the mat or your table. You might need to cut off one to two millimeters of the four side of the card box. So it's no longer touching the surface of your table. Of course, don't cut it too much or you're gonna see the gimmick. Now we we'll need to do a calibration with our playing cards. You can use any playing cards, any deck that you want. Today we're gonna to use bicycle as an example. Why do we need to do the calibration? Because every single deck might be using different papers. So we need to exact weight of the cards that you are using. So we we'll need to do a calibration for the playing cards that you are using to ensure the data is correct. So now we're gonna teach you how to do the calibration. So here from the top corner, right here, there is a button. This is our action button. Double click on the action button and you will enter the menu and you will see all the stack that we have programmed in. Each time you press the action button, it will go down one level. And now select the stack that you want to use. Then we're gonna long press the action button. Then we're gonna enter the stack mode that you want to use. And then you will see this display. And then double tap on the action button. Then we're gonna go down the menu to calibration option. When you reach the calibration, long press on the action button and now the monitor will tell you to place the item on the main unit and now we're going to take one playing card and place it on your main unit and then we're going to press the action button one time and now it will load and now we'll move down to level to exit and long press on the action button and you will enter the stack that you want to use and now you have successfully calibrate the unit according to your playing cards so to know how many cards did they cut off place the whole deck on top of the main unit and then you just press the action button one time and it will go back to zero and now it's ready when it cuts the card you will know that the amount of cards that it cut at the left hand side is the top card and the right hand side will be the bottom card which is the card they cut at. When you place the card back, it will return to zero. We can cut it one more time, you can see three cards. You can see this is exactly three cards. This is the seven of clubs and the right hand side is going to be ten of diamond. 
Now we're going to do a different way of performing in the same mode. The first thing we have to do is to make sure there's nothing on the main unit. And now we're going to press the action button. And it will return to zero. And now you have your audience to select a card and then you place the top pile of cards on the main unit. And now you will see on the right hand side is their selected card. Let's do it one more time. Place the pile on the main unit and on the right hand side you will immediately know they have selected the eight of spades. When we are really performing, you can place the card box at the side. Have your spectators select a card. Place the top pile on the gimmick. And you will note the top pile is 26 cards. And you will know the selected card is the Ace of Club. And the bottom card of the pile is going to be the Jack of Hearts. And now we're going to talk about our free card mode. So for free card mode, you can use two stack. The one is Bicycle with no Joker, which is Bicycle NJ and also the Step and Stack. So you can stack up your deck with these two stacks. So in the menu, you will see there is a Bicycle Free and also a Step and Free. You can use either one of these. We're going to try with Bicycle Free first. Once you enter the mode, press two times of the action button and you will go back to the menu. And now we're going to go down to the calibration long press on the action button and we're going to enter the calibration mode place one card on the main unit wait three seconds and press the action button and now it's done and then we go to exit and we'll enter to free card mode And once our free card mode is set up, now when we do the card one by one to the main unit, when they say stop, we can stop for three seconds, and our receiver will know exactly what card they stop at. So now we're gonna try it out. We have three spectators. Whenever they want, they just say stop. And now we're gonna stop for three to five seconds to make sure the receiver received the card and the receiver will know is the jack of spades. Once we display the card, we have to place back the selected card to the stack. Wait for 3 seconds and the receiver will know you start with the six of hearts. One more time, the third card, just do the cards and wait for 3 seconds and you will know is the queen of clubs. And now we're going to talk about how to customize soul to apply to different objects. You can use coins, cards, cigarettes, even candies. Now we're going to go to the menu of our receiver and then we select routine 1. You can save up to free customization. Now we're going to enter routine 1 and long press on the action button and we'll enter the custom mode. Same thing happened, we will need to do calibration. Double tap on the action button. Back to the menu again. So it depends on the container that you use, you have to place a container on the card box before you do the calibration. For example, if you're using cigarette box, then you have to place the cigarette box on the main unit before you do the setup. Now we're going to enter the calibration mode. And now we have to place one object on the container. So here we're going to place one cigarette on top of the cigarette box. And now we're going to press the action button. And now sold already memorized weight of the object that you want to use. Go to exit to exit the menu and then we'll reach the routine one mode. The setup is ready. Now we have to try it out. So here we have eight cigarettes. We'll place eight of them inside the box. And you see on the receiver is displaying eight, which means there's eight cigarettes inside. You can have your spectator take out any amount of a cigarette. 
and all you need to do is just place the cigarette box on the card box, the main unit, and you'll know how many cigarettes is still inside the cigarette box. As you can see, there's still five cigarettes inside, and that's how you do the customized mode. All the data are recorded and memorized inside our chip. So once you do the calibration of your playing cards or your customized object, when you turn off the unit, the data will still store inside our chip. But if you want to switch up different playing cards or different objects, you need to do the calibration one more time to just to make sure the weight is correct. Here is an example. In fact, you can apply different decks to different stack. For example, today we have to perform with three different playing cards. Then we can calibrate the bicycle designed for Memonica. And for this deck, we're going to do the new deck without Joker. And for the third deck, we can use the this deck or the Stepan stack. Once you have finished performing with the first deck, then you all you need to do is just switch the mode and you can perform with the second deck. And then you take out the third deck, then you switch to the third stack that you want to use it on. So there's an option on the menu which is set up. Here we can set the slip time and also the contrast, the brightness of the receiver. Long press enter the setup. You can select the contrast 10%, 50% and 100%. The higher the percentage, the brighter the monitor will get. And here is the slip time. Is that when you are not using it, you can select it will turn off in 1 minute, 10 minutes, and 30 minutes. When it's in the slip mode, all you need to do is just press the action button and it will turn on the receiver. And of course, you can also turn off the slip mode. So now we can talk about some important things that you have to remember when you are using the soul. Sometimes after calibration, you see there's one card or two cards off. Most of the time it's because when you're doing calibration, you place the card too early. So you have to wait the receiver to tell you to place the card on there, then you place the card on the main unit. If you do it too early, there's a chance that the data may not be correct. And it's very important is that wait 3 seconds after you place the card on there, then you press the action button to give it enough time to memorize the weight. Remember to be patient when you're doing setup. And one more thing is that this unit is a very sensitive device. The maximum weight on this scale is 500 gram. Do not place any object over 500 gram on our scale for a long time or else there's a chance that you might damage our soul unit. One more thing very important is that do not operate the main unit and the receiver when you're charging the unit. Make sure you fully charge your unit, then you use your device.